Today, you guys will be learning how to make a fortune teller. You will need a piece of copy paper um, uh, or lined paper that works the same way, and some scissors. Any kind of scissors will work because you're only going to cut at least one time or more times if you want to cut the excess parts off. So, what you're going to do is start out by folding this corner like this over here. Make sure. That's um, good. Alright, so now you have okay, this piece, the camera's not big enough. So this piece right here with some scissors. You're going to cut this part off. You cut that part off, you're not gonna need it. We'll throw it in the trash, whatever. <clears throat> Eat it, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Alright, now you should have a square with the little lines in the middle. You're gonna take this part of the line, you're gonna fold it over, over here, and then unfold whenever you're done folding the fold. You unfold it, and then when you unfold it, uh, you should have the X in the middle. What you're going to do is take this side and fold it towards the center. Do that for each side, of course. Yours probably not going to be as good as mine, but that's alright. If you're first starting, then that's going to be okay. Alright. One more corner to go. You can also fold like that, tape the rest and do make an envelope out of it. But anyway, you want to. You fold that corner in there. I'm not really good either, so. Alright, then you have some of like that. Then you're going to turn the thing completely over. See what I did there? Look. Take this part. You just flip it over. And I should have like. And then you fold it, these corners in the middle. I know it sounds confusing. And you fold. Do not, do not unfold any of these. If you want to keep the fortune teller, that is. Okay. See, mine don't even match up. It sucks. There will be way more origami videos to this. And uh, I'll have an update to a video, this video sometime. Alright, now you look on this side. And you have that. Oh, what you want to do is when you have this little, all these four corners folded, fold it over any side, and then you just open, open, uh, open these little flaps. See where I'm at? You're gonna open, open place it on the ground, open each flap. It's confusing. I'm gonna put those together. You can put that one right there. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. And there you go. If you didn't really get that much, I'm sorry, but just go back in the video and play it a few times and you'll get it. You have to control it, you just basically just pull it up. Alright, you're going to write any color or draw a color on the outside of these. And on the inside, um, when you open it, you want to open it like this. Put one, two, three, four. Close it and open it. And then put five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to put, if you open it, put a one right here, a two right here, a three right here, a four right here. A five, a six, a seven, and an eight. This little. All right. Now, when you close it, it should be more, be more easier. When you when you go like, when you first get in this position, you want to take these little and fold it. That helps you. Um, if you don't do that, then it won't go back to the position. And then once you do all the numbers or whatever, you put colors on here. 
You can put numbers on the outside, colors on the inside. It don't matter. And then make sure you don't put anything bad on the inside. This part over right here. What I usually do is I put a uh, when I put a number. I would, cut, I would split this right here in half and then draw something on this side. Or you can just put a big huge number, a five and a six, and do one. Just put a fortune or whatever. Um, the ones that you want to put out, yes, no, maybe, I don't know. What about like you're gonna put? Right, yes, right here, up here, a no over here, a maybe down here, and put maybe. We'll see. But we'll see. Yes, no, and maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the outside of these four, I'll put colors. That's how you make a fortune teller. Bye.